Well, I'm not going to lie. I only So it's only going to be a certain type of white guy that's even going to grab my attention. See that? Me most too. men Me too. are sexually invisible to most women. Yes. Go ahead. It's, it's, it's true. Mine has to be like Superman. Literally. I feel that way about you black know. guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Superman so, cake. But I like... feel like he... Um, <laughs> It was. It, it gave me off what you said. Did he talk to you like an art exhibit? Because my sister told me this <laughs> that the white guys they talk to black women like art exhibits. They'll go, "You're so beautiful. I, I love your like hair. hair." I see that I in the club and, and all the time. It's, and it's almost like kind of like I have whoa. never I'm heard this before. Wait, yeah, like an exhibit. Like describe that. For like me. um, it was also exhibit. Yeah, like it. It was more so. I I like the admiration. It's cool, but also there's a line, but. Between you kind of just want to have like a, a physical trophy kind of thing. It's almost like, like the first time somebody sits in a Lamborghini. Oh yeah. my God, I boy, look at this. Blah, blah, blah. Exactly. Yeah, gotcha. Um, and it or when someone's selling you something. Yeah. Like when yeah. one of those salespeople walk up and they're like, hey, would you like to try da 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 da? And you're like, damn, that sounds like a good deal. But this nigga is too <laughs> pressed. Well, that, that sounds and like I a guy. Whenever I try to communicate um, just about real life things, it felt like a big barrier. It mm. felt like, it felt like he just was not internalizing. What you were. and how could he? Yeah. Right? And how could, how could he? he? And, that's, right. and that's the thing. And that is my that was my biggest issue. Like, I need to be able to communicate yeah. these real life experiences that I'm having, and I need for someone to understand, reciprocate, mm -hmm. that is and possibly. And that's and that's my and that's why I've never. Like, like I said, I've been attracted to mm -hmm. some. Like I've seen him like, oh my God, he looks great. You know what I'm saying? He's clean, you know. Mm -hmm. Like the kind of guy, white guy, I'm like, like you walk into like Express Men's and you see ah. that poster. <laughs> yeah. and you look at him like, he looks great. Yeah. Like that's my white guy. Gotcha. I'd be like, yeah, you look good. You could be. <laughs> it's interesting. <laughs> like, it's but, interesting. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, but but again, like she said, it, it always becomes that, that barrier. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know where we would communicate at. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Again, I have cousins who are mixed. You know, mm -hmm. we kind of mm -hmm. communicate. But even when my mixed cousins like my little cousin she's mixed and when we talk and i'm talking to her she's like yeah i don't ever fit in i don't fit in with the white people i don't fit in with the black people like i don't never really know where to be at and i'm like shoot as a black woman i don't fit in with white people i go in like i can i can i know enough to be in a corporate environment sure. to where i can communicate yeah. but if we were on like a one-on-one -on -one and we just had this talk i would know what to say um two uh so your mixed cousins say they don't fit in with white people or black people yeah welcome to my world i'm too white to be black and too black to be white yeah and, 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 and there. the how to relationship podcast is now recruiting for philadelphia if you will be in or around the greater philadelphia metropolitan area between april 28th and april 30th and would like to be a guest on the podcast go to howtorelationship.net slash guest take five to ten seconds to fill out a quick form and a staffer will contact you if selected link in description